Our Facial Time with me, your host Cassandra, and my uh, fantastic, super sexy cameraman that's behind the screen. So, too bad, I can't see him. Um, so, hope that your week was great. Um, looks like the spa can open on the 6th. Um, I haven't fully come to the um, steps that I want to take. It'll be just me working um, for a while. So we'll get into more of that with newsletters and all that fun stuff. So I hope, again, you've got um, gals and guys, if there's any guys that are watching, had a fantastic week, and it's Friday. And for those that are counting the days of the week, it's Friday! Um, I wanted to make this one, since um, we've been doing vodka a lot, because it's so easy to mix that into so many different cocktails. Um, I wanted to switch it up and work with tequila tonight since it is um, Cinco de Mayo um, in a few days. So, a little bit of early celebration for that. Um, but then you'll be able to like have your amazing margarita that we make tonight again in a few days. And an amazing facial mask. So, um, yeah, every week I love making... Um, Either the mask that matches the cocktail, the cocktail matches the, you know, they both correlate. So um, I'm trying to um, be fun and creative, and I hope that you are too. So without further ado, we've got Irene. Irene! Yay! Irene last week took a picture of her um, coffee and cream drink, martini that we made, and she had it in a margarita glass, and I loved it. And actually, that really helped uh, me inspire. So thank you for that, Irene. And happy birthday. It's Irene's birthday. So everybody say, happy birthday, Irene. Um, we also got Monique and Monique. Myrna. Hey, Myrna, Monique. Welcome. Come on in. We've got plenty of room at the bar. Um, so yeah, Irene took a picture of her drink last week and sent it to me. And she had her coffee and cream uh, martini in her mar margarita glass. And it inspired this drink this week. So, and in lieu of her birthday. I mean, who doesn't like a really good margarita? I know that I love a really good margarita. Um, it's up there with my dirty martini, which is my other favorite drink. So. Mark G. Ward. So, hey. Um, he's telling me all the people that are coming in because I have the cameras um, flipped. So I can't see. And even if I did, my eyes are not going to be able to read anything that comes up on any kind of phone. <laughs> so, a little too far for me. Gotcha tequila. Um, any tequila will work. Um, I actually like Canitos, um, so I'm going to use it. And I want to make our drink first so we can sip on it, and then we can get into making our facial, which is the theme of tonight is limes and honey. If you have those two ingredients, you're good to go. I am going to add for mine, and I did put this in the Facebook event. If you wanted to, you could add avocado and paprika. Get a little bit more Mexican flair in there, um, but then also we'll talk about why you might want to add those ingredients. But if you don't have them, don't worry about it. Don't need to rush anywhere right now. Um, chill, relax. And so, here we go. I have my tequila. Hello, And I have my orange liqueur. That was in the Facebook group that you need. And then I've got all these beautiful limes. Some of you guys can see them back here. I've got my lime squeezer, which it works, but I like to actually, I like, I'm really hands on, hence why I like to get facials um, and neck massages during yoga. I like to actually squeeze and like really get in there with my, my hands. And so um, I will end up probably squeezing the lime at the end, even though I use this lime squeezer. So those are the ingredients you need. And I have a zester. So I wanted to be all fancy tonight, and I made a lemon zest with some sea salt, get regular salt, that's totally okay, and then some sugar in my place here to get my rim going on my glass. So if you need to zest it up, go for it. If you're not doing this step, don't even worry about it. I'm going to move this back over here, out of the way. We've got Alex Vandiver and hey. Cheryl Driedrich. Hey Cheryl, Alex, I've missed you in yoga. You were you were incognito this week. Did I say Mark G. Ward? Hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and rim the glass. So I'm gonna take my lime juice I've already made, and you can 
can also, you don't have to do this. You can actually, if you wanted to skip that step, you don't want to do some extra dishes. I totally get that. You can just take your line and voila, go all the way around. This actually will saturate a little bit more, so. I'm not a salt, like when I go to the restaurant, I always ask for no salt, I'm not a huge salt fiend. Um, unlike my husband thinks that I am, but anyway. I actually do have a little sea salt, but there's also sugar in here, so I love sweet and, and like a little sour. So there you go. All right, so I'm rolling this around and voila. Yay, okay. So we got our glass. I'm gonna do one for the hubs so he doesn't feel left out of our, our party because we are at the bar virtually. And so I'm gonna do one for him as well. So be nice, you know, because he has to be my cameraman and all and tell me who's online. And even if, six, yay, hey, welcome, welcome. So there is the other glass. And now I'm just gonna slowly get this stuff out of my way. So hopefully you have your glasses ready. You might already be a step ahead. You might even toss them back with tequila, which would be totally fun as well. So, all right, got my glasses ready. The hubs was sweet enough to already get me some ice, so I didn't have to step over there and get it. So I'm putting my ice in my shaker. Shell 76, yummy, and yes, girl. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. I'm all about it. So I'm going to leave the rest of this ice in the cup. And if you're a frozen margarita girl, that's awesome. Um, I'm actually a, a rocks, but you do you, boo, is all I have to say. Alright. Alright, so here we go. I'm a basket case sometimes in the kitchen. Luckily I haven't cut off a finger, so that's a good thing. Okay, I've got my... flooded the house. I have flooded the house. There's nothing like being in the middle of a yoga class and your husband's like blowing up your phone and then he takes a picture of the picture that I'd left on the counter where I swiveled the um, faucet around to fill up the water pitcher for the dogs because they need water for all of her work and I'd had it on such a low um, stream that, um, yeah, nine hours later, can you guess what happened? It wasn't pretty and I was in a lot of trouble. So, but that's what love is all about. You forgive, right? I don't think he's going to forgive me. Anyway, so we have our ice. We have our tequila. You can do, um, you can do this. You can measure it out. I'm just going to count it. Um, 16 should be a good count. 17 um, is probably where I'm going to go. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Woohoo! That's a lot of tequila. I'm making two though. This is not just mine. It's not going to be one of those um, big bowls so I can like put my whole face in. Okay, so next I thought you were counting too fast. <laughs> huh? I thought you were counting too fast. Yeah, well, it's just the first one. One one thousand. I have <laughs> two one thousand. Yeah. Tell says the guy that that likes to drink way more than I do. But anyway, so. Peel out of the way. We got our orange liqueur. I'm actually just going to measure this one out because I don't have. I need to get another spruit thing. So anyway. Oh, so what you're looking for in the tequila on your ice, in case you missed that, I'm making two, so I put three ounces. And then, um, yeah. We got Sharia Wheeler. Hey, Sharia. Hey, Stacy Swanson, I think it says. Oh, hey, Stacy. Yep, yeah, and she likes your shirt. Thank you. It's cute. Thank you. I was trying to be all for the flair tonight. So, tequila, ounce and a half if you're just doing one, and that will only probably give you, if you have rocks in your glass, probably will fill it up to about right here at the bottom of that, um, first little rounded edge. Um, if you're having a rocks glass, which is how I made mine to test everything out, um, I think it was Wednesday, um, it fits perfectly in a rocks glass. So, <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I'm sure it was funny because he's laughing at somebody what somebody Stacy says she hates Guns N' Roses. Yeah, we know that, Stacy. My <laughs> husband's a huge Guns N' Roses fan, and she loves to poke fun, and he loves it. So, bring it on, girl. Keep giving him shit. Oh, am I going to say that? I'm with the bar, right? Okay, no. 
So now we're going for the orange liqueur. And so um, any orange liqueur you have, great. Um, we're doubling this one, so I'm going to use a full ounce. If you're at home, half. So voila. I'm going to put a little bit more because I really like the flavor. So I'm like this in the kitchen. Like I follow the recipe, then I, you know, I change it all the time. So if you're a straight, strict, follow the recipe kind of person, you're probably not going to like that. Sharia the Wheeler is not a straight, strict, follow the recipe. Yes, girl, you my kind of people. She's drinking it with just lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> or simply lemonade, I guess. Simply lemonade. Fantastic. Okay, so I've got my orange liqueur, and now it's the lime juice. And what I'm doing with this is two full ounces. This is probably not even close to that, so I'm going to have to make some. And this is where I was talking about, I'm probably going to like squeeze it by hand because that works. I like that. It's like a stress ball, you know, just squeeze it out. So if you got your lines, if you're squeezing, or you did the simple thing, which I love, just go buy some lime juice. <laughs> that works too. All right. I've got now probably about an ounce and a half. About an ounce. I need one more. So, yeah, my husband um, loves Guns N' Roses, and I love that Stacy loves to make fun of him about that because she comes into that kind of um, play of um, relationships that I love. You know, you kind of make fun of the people that you love in some kind of sort of twisted kind of way. So, all right. We have now an ounce and a half, we need one more ounce, and one more lime, I'm just going to squeeze it straight in, and then we have sugar. I have a sugar addiction. Some of y'all have sugar addictions, because <laughs> so we sit in our homes, and we eat our emotions, and we drink our emotions, and some of y'all are really great and working out, I love that. All right. Oh, no, Alex Vanderer said that uh, squeezing lemons and limes makes them, or squeezing them, microwaving them makes them easier to squeeze. Thank you, girl. Awesome. Maybe I should stop so I can stress squeeze them. <laughs> All right, sugar. I've already done a simple sugar. Hopefully, you already have that. If you have your honey for the facial, you probably use use that as well. You have to shake it up a lot more because that sugar and that um, honey is not going to really mix as easily as a simple sugar. Simple sugar is basically um, sugar and water. So I already have that done, putting that in there, and now it's all about the shake. So I got my ice, tequila, orange liqueur, simple sugar, and tequila! Gracias. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yum. All right. Woo! I love margarita. Hopefully you do too. So, a little pucker from that rim, that rim with the sea salt and um, lime zest. Let's get into our facial. Cheers to the friend. weekend, says Shell. Yes. Now, here's the thing, baby. Cheers to the weekend. Your uh, Instagram live camera mm -hmm. just went, or just notified us that the power's almost out. Oh, let me plug it in. I can't. It's not close enough to a power outlet. Um, there's a cord extra in that room in front. Like an extension mm -hmm. cord? Yeah. My best grip boy. <laughs> Isn't that what they do? Didn't they get all the plugins and things like that behind the camera? All right, I'm my very last drop of this. 
It's the citrus exfoliating wash. I wanted to still be all citrusy tonight. So I'm washing my face with that. It has a little bit of exfoliation power in there. And here we go. And I got some new um, washcloths too. Because mine were getting to that place where they were, I couldn't clean on um, or get them as clean as I should have. I'm going to avoid the eye area tonight um, as I normally do every week is because um, if I do, I'll be, if I don't, I'll be raccoon eyes and I don't have the actual proper things to pick off all the mascara. And yes, I'm still wearing makeup. I just, it makes me feel good. Do things that make you feel good. Like this, this makes me feel good. Even if there's only like no one watching, I would still be doing all this because I think it's fine. So. She'd be uh, talking to cameras even. I would, Nobody's watching. I would just like. I'm an only child, and I was very much about my own playtime, so, you know? All right. Stacy said some product you were talking about is one of her faves. Citrus exfoliating wash, maybe? I don't know. That's all I'm talking about right now. All right, let's get into the, the business of limes and skincare. Vitamin C. There's like 20 milligrams in a lime. That's 20 to 25% of your daily <laughs> recommended dose. I know we're not ingesting it, but the power is still there. It's a natural bleaching agent, so you have dark spots. It's great for that. And then we have, um, it treats oil, because it's an um, AHA. We've been talking about AHAs and BHAs um, every time. Which one's which? And so this one's an AHA. What's it do? Sloughs off dead skin cells. Making new skin grow. It's all soluble, so it eats the oil. So this helps with that treating of those dark spots. It actually helps prevent their production, the melanin production. Do so, lemons work for that too? Yes, lemons do. We did that one um, when we did the lemon um, drop martini, and we did a lemon honey facial. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compile all these into uh, a blog post and all the recipes I've done so far. So I'm working on. So um, I'll have all the past ingredients and um, what each ingredient is good for. So I'm going to take another drink. How about you? I, so, I say this every week, but I, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you were all sitting around the bar with me right now. We're all doing like what we do at the studio when we do our spa parties. We all have nice little drinks and social, and then we do a facial, and it's so much fun. So this is my, this is my way of doing it without actually being in your presence in a physical pharma test. So, um, moving into the line, I'm going to squeeze some line into, I'm going to use this bowl. I have a slice of avocado in there because like I said, I'm going to use avocado. So squeeze. So if you're doing the facial, lime juice about a teaspoon. You could do more. It just wrote, it's going to be runny if you do more. So honey, I said mainly the two ingredients are going to be lime and honey, and so I have my honey. We've got that yeah, super yeah. high, and <laughs> did y'all hear that? He said, yeah, you do. He's so full of himself. So um, you could do a table, or a teaspoon, teaspoon, not table. And you also just kind of, since I have avocado in here, I'm probably just going to do a half. But you can still do a full. You could always save this and use it like in a couple of days or the next night. I will say last week with the um, coffee and cream um, facial, um, I had a nice little tingle. The, ca the caffeine in the, um, in the grounds was like a little tingling actually. So I have my um, teaspoon of, of lime. Um, I used a half a teaspoon of lemon, but go ahead and use a full. Um, you could even do a tablespoon if you wanted to really get in there with lots of honey. So honey, um, antibacterial properties, um, antiseptic, and it's fantastic for antioxidants. All right, so paprika is one of the other greens I want to make tonight. I want some spice in it. So I'm doing a teaspoon of that. We've used paprika before too on one of our facials. Um, after it slips my mind which one it was. I have to go back and, and look at that one. And so then the, the last thing is our avocado. But let's, before we, and I just got a little slice of avocado. And so while I'm going to take a moment to stir this up, 
And you got yours, hopefully you're stirring it. It almost feels like I'm about to make some kind of amazing Mexican dish. We're actually going to have, we have pizza night every Friday. And so tonight's going to be a Mexican themed pizza. We've had done that for what, two years now? Three years? I can't remember. It's been forever. Pizza night is every Friday night. Is paprika okay for people with sensitive skin? I would go a little light and do a patch test. So um, I would patch test a little bit of paprika on your neck. Um, maybe mix it with a, a little bit of honey so it sticks and just wipe it on there, wait about 20 minutes to see. Um, the circulation in there, so coming into talking about the um, high vitamin A content in there, it's rich in that, it's rich in um, vitamin C, and anti it is anti-inflammatory, but the spice in there will kind of maybe give you that sense of blood circulation, which is really fantastic for um, acne, and also anti-aging. So when they patch test, what do they need to look for? Patch test, you're looking for if you um, immediately have this strong, itchy, burn and does not feel good and you take it off and it's really super red and it might have little bitty um, bumps that come up. So you don't want that. So I'm going to add a little bit more honey. Mine's like a really thick paste. It's a beautiful color. So the color in here is coming from the pepper. Remember, if you just have lime and honey, you're golden. You don't have to put these extra things in there. I just had them in the house so I used them, you know, because um, I was one to think that I was in Mexico doing this amazing facial. <laughs> it's the flowery shirt. So I'm gonna add a little bit more honey. Sarah Lynn loves that shirt. Oh, thank you, Sarah Lynn. Sarah Lynn bought baby foot this week and uh, I've done baby foot. I did it two days ago, so I should start shedding like a snake probably in about another three days. Oh yeah, you can't wait. <laughs> Eric's like gross. He can't stand it. It is kind of nasty, but for me it's like still satisfying to peel those layer of dead skin cells off the feet. So we still have um, those at the studio as well as all the other uh, eminent skincare products. And this is the one the one, the citrus kale and um, potency C and E serum. Um, next week I will be doing a, a, a opening a bottle of wine. There's no um, mixture next week, it's just a bottle of wine, but I am going to torture myself with a skin roller. <laughs> which is where you actually puncture the skin with um, these um, titanium needles on a roller. And so I'll be doing that next week and I'll talk about serums. And that'll be one of the serums I'll, uh, I'll talk about and use. So, still stirring. And so coming back to um, high um, beta carotene that's in paprika, it actually um, treats and pre um, prevents aging. And it gives it the wonderful color. That's where I was going with that. It's all in the rich foods like um, beta carotene and carrots. Anything that's really rich, red, orangey kind of color. Oh, my poor Frank wants out of the bedroom. I'll take a drink for Frank. All right. And we also have the citrus, um, which mine, if you look at the bottom, it's almost gone. I have one treatment left. It's a citrus um, and kale um, C and E, like the serum um, mask. And it actually gets really tight, so it's like, I wish you could wear it all day and just like, I've had a facelift. <laughs> aging is beautiful, so don't think that I'm um, making fun of aging. It's all part of the process. So, avocado is the last thing. Mmm. Smells like some of the, the chicken we make, so we use it like um, paprika and the chicken. Alright, so avocado. Amazing fat. Anti-inflammatory anti properties, and it actually can help with um, skin damage. And a little avocado in in the mouth to eat, or in your topical um, skincare, super moisturizing. So we've got it's vitamin E content, vitamin A content. It's got its own um, linoleic. I always have pronunciation problems with that word. So that actually helps restore the skin. It's back to its nice, beautiful stuff. And it's got um, chlorophyll. If you're taking chlorophyll tablets, um, I have, if you kind of have more of um, an Ayurvedic, more pitta, you kind of have a sour smell in your pits and things like that. And so it actually, chlorophyll, if taken regularly, can actually help with that. So. And then it's a strengthener for the skin barrier. And it boosts collagen. Ready for some guacamole. <laughs> so how many Instagram viewers 
Got the behind the scenes open mic audio last oh, week. Oh yeah, that was funny. Okay, so last week, this is another funny story. Last week, um, we had finished, and um, we ended um, Facebook Live, and Instagram Live, we thought we ended, or at least I thought he had ended it, and then my phone started ringing, it was still on the stand, and my phone started ringing, and I went over, and was like, oh, Vicky from, from the spa's calling me. And so I was like, I wonder what's going on with her. And so I answered, she's like, girl, we're still on. And I was like, what? So Instagram, there's two buttons. You have to end and you have to end story. And we was still recording. And so we have this beautiful dialogue that was going on between Eric and I for five minutes afterwards, like the behind the scenes, which was fantastic. The thing with Instagram story, though, it ends in um, 24 hours. So um, anyone that watched that got the little backstory of us talking about um, his review and his critique. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, another towel. Another so. towel that's going to be hard for me to clean, but oh well. Pooh Bear is watching. Pooh Bear. Okay, Pooh Bear's my stepdad, and I just love him to death. He's amazing. We had a great hour long conversation today, which was just filled my soul up with lots of love. So, I love you, Pooh Bear. And I know you love my margaritas, and I wish you were here to have one. So. And this is to you, Pooh Bear. Well, this is to one. you. This is to you, Mom. Um, because you wanted me to come Wednesday and spend the day with you, and I was crying in tears because I was just too in a fear space to come because I was worried that you know you might get something from me, and I just don't know how I would survive with you two gone because I love you so much. So. Something like. Anyway. Herpes. Cheers. <laughs> he thinks he's funny so cheers to you for um, my Pooh Bear Mama so hmm. I call him Pooh Bear because I still have a, a relationship with my dad and it's not bad or anything and so um, I didn't you know it's just whatever I came up with Pooh Bear it just fell out of my mouth one day when I was um, in junior high and um, it just stuck and it's so endearing to say that say Pooh Bear um, so, uh, that is it. The last thing I want to share with you is, um, this wonderful jewel. I was, um, Eric and I tied one on one night, which I don't normally do on a regular basis. It was like a few months ago. And, um, anyway, I woke up the next day and went to the Purple Cow. I'm oh, no, sorry. I went to Orin Big Orange. I went to Big Orange to get us some food. And it's like the, you know, I need to eat a bunch of bad stuff like cheeseburger and fries and all that. And so I was sitting at the bar to do the pickup food. He was not even feeling well enough to even go to pick up the food. And so I went and um, I'm sitting at the bar and then I have a lot of tequilas. I think I had three. And I was like, I don't even know really any of those brands. And so the guy next to me is like, hey, I look at local line. You should do this one. And I was like, I've never done hair of the dog, but let's go. And so I took, I ordered one shot and I was like, that is one of the best tequila shots I've ever had. And so I went and searched to find this and nearly choked out when I found out how much it was. It was $50 in bottles. So as you can tell, I've had this for a few months and I only take a drink out of it every so often. Tell me the name of it because I might not be able to read that. I am, I'm not even going to try to butcher that. I know it's Azul, but I don't know the sim, Simbra, Simbra Azul? Siembra. Siembra Azul Blanca. Mm. So it's a, it's more of a, a light yeah. white tequila. So yeah. You don't need a chaser with this, I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, I'm feeling a little spice from that paprika on my face. I love hot mask, so that's what we have at Eminence. Um, we have hot mask with pushes the blood of the service, which is so amazing for your skin. Holly Krebs so, wants to know, how long do you keep it on? I would say 15 to 20 minutes. And did you put some of the mask product you mentioned in it too? Nope, just this. Um, it's kind of those things like I want you to have an experience that you can create in your kitchen, but then I also want to know that, you know, um, if you are still working and have a little few bucks, you want to like buy a product, you can do that. And I know Mother's Day is coming up, so um, gift certificates can be done online. We still have online yoga classes. And, um, oops, dropping things again. And so, um, yeah. And if you don't, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, not working right now, you can probably have your tequila still, and you've probably got some of these ingredients, honey and lime, you know, and make your own skincare. 
Um, I do know an imminent facial and the mask, you can actually sleep in overnight. This one, um, to answer your question again, 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, so. And like I said, the paprika, if you have sensitive skin, definitely test it out before you just slather it all over. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> Maybe you have enough tequila, you don't care. It'll be a new quarantine story. <laughs> I love the quarantine stories. Hopefully you have a great one. And if you um, enjoyed this, um, we're going to be here next week where I um, roll my face in some kind of torture and I'm going to drink a glass of wine to calm my nerves about that because I, I do have micro uh, needle rollers and I do use them, but it's always one of those things where I kind of got to build up to it. <laughs> so um, that'll be fun to see my face when I actually roll it across my skin. But then I'll put it in a great serum and it'll feel amazing afterwards. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and got some kind of fun and that was the whole point and maybe a little education. Um, tell your like, friends. Yeah, tell your friends. I'll, I'm going to be doing this as long as I feel inspired to. It's, it's life giving to me. It's fun. And that's what you need to find um, in your life. Things that are soul giving and life giving. And so if you want to take a picture of you in your mask and like cheers, then I would love to see those photos. It might inspire me to do something else. And I also take requests. I know Alex requested some lavender, so we'll definitely um, play around with that as well. Oh, Sharia Wheeler. Sharia Wheeler. Yeah, Sharia. That's a hard name to say. <laughs> Just said you should put a PayPal me donation link. So we can give you donations for your expertise. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm doing skin consults from Zoom too. I've had some people that um, actually I had a girl today that um, bought another skincare product, um, and she's loving how Inmates is changing her skin. Um, so, but if you don't, you know, no bigs. Um, if you got it and interested, awesome. Um, this is not a push, you know, to be all like sell a bunch of stuff. It's more about us coming around this um, bar space and um, having some connection. That was the main point. You know, I want to use my gifts. I used to be a bartender many lifetimes ago. I've loved skincare my whole life and I wanted to share that. And I have my little yoga earrings because that's my other passion. So, cheers to all of you beautiful people. Have a magnificent Friday night and, and celebrate Cinco with your new drink. And I'll put the recipe, I'll drop it in. Oh, actually it's already in the Facebook event. So you already have the information. So, mwah, mwah, and mwah. Hugs.